Well, it's the shortest month of the year, but it's beginning to feel like it will never end. Another February freeze is taking hold. The area that you see here in purple will have temperatures tonight as low as 10 below, and the chill is to the bone with winds as high as 45 miles an hour today on New Hampshire's Mount Washington. The real feel there was 85 below. A snowplow operator we talked to today said he had three plows break this season because the cold made them so brittle. More snow is on the way, moving from the southern plains to the east, and Jerika Duncan is in Boston for us tonight. Jerika? Good evening. This area where I'm standing is normally a waterfront park, but it's anything but a picnic for people who have to walk through here. Many of these snow mounds around me are at least seven feet high, but elsewhere, they're much higher. A procession of dump trucks has been hauling snow around the clock to so-called snow farms, open city parking lots that have been transformed into dumping grounds. They've doubled from five to ten snow farms in the last week. Some of the mounds more than five stories high. Two snow melters have been brought in from New York, and officials are now looking for more. Boston Mayor Marty Walsh. We're shoveling snow piles to make room for new snow on snow piles. Those snow piles have narrow streets, forcing two-lane roads to become a narrow one. Since Saturday, the city has towed more than 900 vehicles for breaking the snow emergency parking ban. There's eight feet of snow directly. Restaurant up. owner Kevin Tayo is battling a leaky roof and workers and customers who can't make it to his location. He's had to shut down six times in the last three weeks. People don't want to go out. I mean, there's a lot of snow. So businesses down about 60% over the last few weeks. And potholes are also a big concern. Scott, last year the mayor says the city repaired 19,000 of them. It was a record, just one of many records that could be broken before the end of this season. Jerika Duncan in Boston. Thank you, Jerika.